some boots by Jimmy Pete. Nestled in the hills of Clint Village at a green mill, the miller had three hard-working sons, a donkey and a cat. When the miller died, his belongings were divided in this order. The oldest son received the mill, the middle son, the donkey, and the youngest, named Benjamin, got the cat. They worried Benjamin enormously. Just how can I make my way in this life, he said, with only a cat. The cat overheard. Have some boots made for me, he said, and give me a strong sack with a drawstring. I just might be able to help you find your fortune. Benjamin knew his cat to be clever, so he agreed. How gallant the cat looked in his boots. Standing upright on his hind legs from that day on, Benjamin called him Puss in Boots. Puss went about filling the sack with cabbage leaves and carrots, then hauled it into the deep woods, where he knew there was an abundance of rabbits. He laid down a trail of bite-sized bits, stretched out as though he were dead, and waited. Before long they came, one hop at a time. One foolish rat, rabbit took the bait, jumped right into the sack. Instantly, Puss pulled the strings, knotted them, and headed for the king's castle. He knew that a fresh rabbit was just the right present to offer the king and a way of introduction. But once inside the royal chambers, Puss bowed and placed the rabbit at the king's feet. I have brought you a majesty, a gift from my young master.